It's out of this world. NASA is launching a new mission that could revolutionize how we talk with future missions in space, including the moon, Mars and beyond. The laser communications relay demonstration will launch from Kennedy Space Center just a couple hours south of us on Sunday morning, if all goes according to plan, of course. Here to talk about this and break it down, NASA expert Crystal Johnson. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so we love talking about science, but we got to find a way to make it, you know, simple in TV terms right here. So what does yes. this mean? It's all about getting better with communicating back and forth to outer space, right? Yes, it is. It's a very exciting technology demonstration, and it's really just going from the radio frequency tech way that we communicate today to communicating through laser light. And, and the way that you can think about it is, is like a pipe. Right now, the pipe is about this big to get all of the data that we collect down to Earth. So right now, when you take a video, the video is very grainy and it's hard to see because you can't have high definition because high definition means you need to send a lot of data back down so that you can get all the details. Laser communication is going to take that pipe from this big to 10 to 100 times bigger. So we're going to be able to have a lot more data packed into those small little chunks. And the way that you can envision it is like the Google Maps. If we did a Google map of all of Mars, it would take us right now with the current radio frequency, it'd take us nine weeks to get that Google map back down to Earth from Mars. Mm -hmm. If we were using laser communication, it would take us only nine days versus nine weeks. So a lot more data coming back down. We'll be able to do high definition videos, have smaller power requirements, smaller size requirements. So planning the missions for the future, we can do so much more. Um, for in the future. All right, so it's about more bandwidth and then people are going to be able to see the details as NASA continues to explore things that have explore. never been explored before. Absolutely, that's exactly right. And that means that we're going to get high definition Martians potentially. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make you confirm that. <laughs> I won't do that to you. It's a Friday. Love you got to forgive me, okay? <laughs> so uh, I want to talk about how is this going to change the way that we communicate because we are just really seeing um, the space, almost space race once again flourish. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us in so many ways. And one way in particular is to keep the astronauts safe because we're really talking about having a sustainable presence on the surface of the moon, not just going and visiting and coming right back home, but having a sustained presence on the moon in preparation for being able to have a sustainable presence on Mars. So even simple things like the sun, the sun has these solar flares that come out of the sun. And with that, comes all this radiation. And you think about going to the dentist and getting your, your teeth, you know, the radiation done where they have to put the cape over you. Imagine that like a billion times more, the radiation that you're gonna be exposed to. It would actually kill the astronauts on the surface if they were not protected from the radiation that comes from these coronal mass ejections or solar flares. So we will have laser communication that will be able to watch what's happening to the sun, monitoring when we're having these events that are happening on the sun, send that large amount of data to a relay and then down to the surface where the astronaut will have a handheld device or a heads up visor that will be able to say, this event is happening right now and you've got X minutes to be able to get to a place of safety. And so you'll know so much more about what's happening because so much more data can come down through those pipes to be able to help keep our astronauts safe. That's just one small example. All right, so really keeping up with the times, we've seen such a dramatic change with our smartphones. So now basically that smart yeah. technology is being taken to outer space. So we don't have to be like, hey, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, I'm sorry Absolutely. for asking you about Martians, but other than that, we really enjoyed it. <laughs> we hope you have a great weekend. And I certainly, once again, that mission is set to take place on Sunday morning from Cape Canaveral. So that's just yes. a couple hours uh, south of us here.